Well, it's become kind of the fashion to run down Moses, you know, call them garbage guns. But I really um, kind of found a Moses, which is why I have quite a few of them. But this particular one is a 1921 Isabesque which is one of the, you know, uh, old Dragoon rifles that's been modified to a 9130. Of all of them, I find this one to be my most accurate, and I have this one set up for shooting reloads. That's what I have adjusted it for. But, because, you know, a lot of them, the thing about a Mose, they can be just finicky and peculiar. You know, each one is a gun unto themselves. You know, both of them, kind of demand the bayonet uh, has to do with you know the harmonics on the barrel can be freakish on these but this one doesn't but like I say I've got it adjusted to shoot my reloads rather than you know most of them I shoot this you know the high power surplus in but I was experimenting with this one for uh, you know go for management and I think it was Brian who had sent me some of these. They are the training rounds that are a hollow, you know, it's, it's a, a soft lead bullet with a jacket on, but then they're hollow. So they're very light. Uh, the funny thing about them, though, for being a light bullet and a fairly light load, they're loud, you know, but I think that's the whole idea. It's to get people used to the, the racket of the gun. And there, well, I shot a gopher just a little bit ago, about 75 yards. I think that's about the max. They, they kind of run out of steam at, over that. But for like 50 yards, I, I've got a half dozen gophers I've been plinking away with this thing. Uh, oh, it just massacres a gopher, though. <laughs> It's it's a little overkill for a gopher, but not, you know, I consider using some of this stuff. Because I have great confidence in in this particular Mosin to shoot the point, but I wasn't sure if it would shoot the point with this training stuff, but it does. You know, shoots very well with it. And it feeds through even though, you know, they're they're considerably shorter than these metal jacket things but they're kind of nice for this kind of purpose you know I've used them for getting kids shooting and stuff before but they actually work pretty good for, for gopher but they do a number on them but it is funny you know how uh, you know, the fashion at the moment is to kind of run down Mosins but I, I think that's a mistake you can't underestimate them you know, there. You know, you hear people that used to say, "Oh, it's the best gun they ever made." Well, that ain't true. <laughs> Though I do like it better than the '98. You know, I, I know people like Mosin, but I'm not a particular fan of. You know, I've got four of them, five of them, but Mosins. You know, I got a half dozen of them, and I like them. But it, especially the older ones. You know, it's funny because when I first bought a Mosin. You know, Fleet Farm was selling them $79. They were on sale like every other week. <laughs> so they were easily available. And the first one I bought, I thought, oh, I'll look through these. I'll buy the newest one. So I bought a 42. That's something you got to learn. On Mosin's, the older the better. You know, the older ones are just better made. They paid a little more attention to detail on them, and even like you know, in inside when the two halves screw together, there it's uh, it's shimmed properly. You know, some of them they just kind of threw them together, but this is a particularly nice gun. And of course, this is one that's got my tar on it. But these training rounds, they really are. A good gopher gun, but they are loud. You know, I can get by without hearing protection, but they're they're not as loud as the full power round, but they're plenty loud.